So my name is uh, Tendai Mudunge. I initially came to Newfoundland in 2012 to study civil engineering at the university, at Memorial University. So around uh, 2014, went through my travels, that's when I stumbled into dancing. And then I liked it so much, I continued to learn since then. And around uh, 2018, that's when I started my company, Jabula Entertainment. That's when I started, uh, I was still learning at the time. Didn't really know a lot about what I was doing, but I just knew I had to punch fear in the face and start something. That's when I started uh, Jabula Entertainment. So initially I was mostly teaching Latin dances. So bachata is the one that I like the most and uh, it's the one that is a bit easier to teach, in my opinion. And then uh, I slowly started teaching classes, doing uh, socials for people to do. And other people saw what I was doing and they invited me to do performances. So also through traveling and it's like once you start doing something, once you put in your 10,000 hours, you slowly get better. So I started doing more performances and also started doing projects outside just Latin dance. So last uh, September, we actually did like a contemporary piece where I was like an artist for a book that uh, Bushra, based, who's based in Toronto, wrote the book. So that was like a completely different uh, project compared to everything that I've done before. So I'll say, if I look back, I was a bit naive, uh, because it's actually a good thing. Where I was naive, I didn't know what it takes to start a business. So I had all the confidence in the world. But like, let's say, for sure, starting a business, you need a product that you believe in. And uh, you need people that are sort of uh, acting as clients or that are getting enjoyment out of the service. So that helped, because I was dancing for a long time, I was already active in the scene. So there's some people who gave me a lot of benefit of the doubt that supported me at the start. So that's a good thing. And also with the way the province is set, there's a lot of uh, education. Was your service is one thing, but probably that's like 20% of your business. So 80% is the things like writing grants, doing your accounting, doing your marketing, always like looking for the same, uh, for the next opportunity and trying to build relations to grow your business. So all those things, they can be a lot, but I found like the more you do it, uh, the more you find a system, that way you can repeat some things or you can get people to help you out. So I'll say for me is uh, the most rewarding, two, there's two rewarding things. So there's, personally I've always been a creative person. So I find if you have that creative uh, mentality, it always feels like there's something missing in your day-to-day -day activities until you get to explore that part of your brain. So I do find dancing, uh, it brings like uh, my creative element out of me. So when I'm teaching, I have to be creative in how I teach people things, or to find out what's working, what's not working, how to troubleshoot. So that's my personal satisfaction. But one thing that I see now, let's say to people, when people are dancing, I find uh, a lot of things we do, I don't say they're monotonous, but uh, people always want something to break their day. So I find when you do dance classes, always people are getting better, are getting more confident. You can see the enjoyment in their faces. So that feels like, it's like, a, it's just reaffirming to me that they're getting something out of it. So myself, I do say uh, for sure I'm proud of my country like uh, Zimbabwe, that's where I grew up and I lived there up to about uh, 2012. And uh, also coming to Canada too, to be able to see how Canada is a multicultural society. There's like so much diversity here. And even you get to the bigger cities, you get access to so many things. You can get food from anywhere. You get to see how other people do their things. And like recently I went to London too. And I noticed London there, it was even like Toronto on like steroids. There was just so much opportunity, so much culture and so much things to learn that we hopefully we can continue to bring to Newfoundland. So the first thing for sure is the numbers. So like let's say when I came in in 2012, the numbers were a bit less. So let's say if it's something organized for a specific group, 
the numbers just didn't exist to support that type of thing but like let's say we look now for instance like we have the mama africa so it caters to a lot of african food even at the farmers market there's an event for like uh, black owned businesses so it's almost like both the numbers are there you know you have more vendors you know you have people more people offering so it just means it works a bit better that way mm. that's one difference i would see it's more like big shift in the numbers and part of that is with the university and also our immigration in canada has opened up a bit more there is more programs there's more education more pathways So I do think the thing that I always believe in myself is uh, there's always no substitute to working hard. So there's many things that can happen, things that are beyond your control, things that are within your control. But for sure, working hard is to the best of people's abilities. That's something you can control. And the second you work hard, you show your work ethic, positive attitude, that just opens opportunities for you. They may not be today, they may not be tomorrow. But once at some point someone will recognize that and 